So this will be continued for 850 seconds. So currently the relative velocity is 3.49 kilometer per second. So specific uh, scientists uh, are present here to witness this uh, great event. So the third stage is uh, completely normal. So they are tracking. The altitude gained during thrust abatement is about 400 kilometers in cryo stage operational range. When the thirst abatement ends, there is a considerable increase in relative velocity at a marginal loss of altitude. Plus eight minutes. So the third stage uh, would be continued uh, up until uh, 850 seconds. So, this is called uh, Naishar. So, uh, for, for, uh, Natural disasters like uh, landslide. Uh, uh, this penetrates the clouds. And this will provide the real time information about. Madad Milegi. Yeah, Burf ki chadar, glacier, or Samudri Burf me. So, the changes in the glaciers, uh, the thickness of ice, so the uh, deforestation, uh, the problems of deforestation uh, can also be mitigated. So, this will provide the scientific information. The scientists are combined together, uh, so this is a very ambitious mission. NISAR, or the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, is a remarkable milestone in the Indo-US space ties. Designed on the I-3K mainframe bus, NISAR will render services for the next five years according to free and open data policy. NISAR Plus provides a means minutes. of disentangling and clarifying spatially and temporary, temporally complex phenomena ranging from ecosystem disturbances to ice sheet collapse and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and landslides. ISRO has identified a range of applications of particular relevance to India that the... Is performance normal. 
including monitoring agricultural biomass over India, monitoring and assessing disasters to which India responds, studying snow and glaciers in the Himalayas, and studying Indian coastal and near shore oceans by monitoring annual changes in bathymetry along the deltaic regions, shoreline and creation. The changes that Earth is undergoing in its ecosystem, deformation and cryospheric sciences emphasizes the urgent and constant need to observe Earth from the vantage of space in order to thrive on our changing planets in decades to come. NISAR offers centimeter level precision capable of detecting subtle ground shifts and environmental changes. Data from NISAR will provide critical insights to help India and US plan for natural Bio and state performance normal. Results. Today when the GSLV F-16 rocket of ISRO places NISAR in its intended orbit, a critical deployment event that is of the 12 meter wide mesh reflector will take place. This mesh reflector acts as a radar antenna. The deployment will be a slow sequence to ensure the delicate boom and antenna unfold without damage or misalignment. The deployment will begin 10 days after launch and will be carried out over the next 8 days. Plus 12 minutes. To prepare NISAR for science operations, in orbit checkout, physical deployment of all deployable parts, checking out the engineering systems, testing the radars independently and jointly, this phase will last for 90 days after the launch. Extensive calibration and validation activities will take place throughout the first five months. Level. The schedule of science observations alone will be driven by a variety of inputs, including LNS band target maps, radar mode tables, and spacecraft and ground station constraints and capabilities. Cryo stage uh, ignition is uh, completely normal. The relative velocity 0.9 km per second uh, and uh, altitude is 788 km. Uh, to synthetic aperture radar uh, capacity is used. So this will give the data. The changed uh, signals will be sent. So there is a 12 meter wide reflector antenna is attached. Two times. Uh, so in Earth, this is uh, synthetic aperture radar. This is a very powerful uh, synthetic radar available here. This is the L band 25 centimeter uh, web length L band radar system used by, by uh, NASA. S band radar system. So the other one is the Nishar. So Surya Tulukali Kakshame, Kam Karnejara, is. Antenna is uh, Antarctica. We can uh, observe the Antarctica as well. This is uh, very important to study the uh, melting of ice uh, in Antarctica as well. So, three years main mission, uh, the data would be provided. So this is the 80 terabyte data. This will be distributed. All the S-band and L-band data will be national remote sensing and 
So government of India will be used. It will be provided to other countries as well. NASA has 1978. Uh, they have started ने विमान व अंतरिक्ष से विज्ञान क्षेत्रों के अध्ययन के लिए अग्रणी रहे हैं फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ स्पेस में रिसर्च श्रृंखला 2012 में रारी 2012 वन और 2012 वन इन 2000 नाइसर व्यापक के साथ उच्च रिजोल्यूशन के डेटा निरंतर पर तो हाई रिजोल्यूशन डेटा वुड बी अवेलेबल We are 16 minutes, 15 seconds past the launch. Now the cryogenic upper stage is currently thrusting. The vehicle trajectory correctly follows the prediction. Cryo stage performance normal. Tritiyova Antim Charan, GSLV Mark 2 ka. क्रायो ऑपर स्टेज के नाम से जाना जाता है क्रायो ऑपर स्टेज वर्तमान में पूरी तरह करेंटली कंप्लीटली नॉर्मल परफॉर्मेंस ऑल द सामान्य निष्पादन करते हुए सिस्टम यान को उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर तो द व्हीकल इज टारगेटेड टू द डेजिग्नेटेड ऑर्बिट कक्षा की स्थितियां प्राप्त करते ही क्रायो जन किंजन को बंद कर दिया Engine would be closed. The launch vehicle is at an altitude of 748 kilometers. Kaksha ki istitiya prapt hote hi. As soon as the situation in the orbit. Awaiting the satellite separation event. Cryo stage performance normal. प्लस 18 मिनट्स वर्तमान में सापेक्ष गति 7.35 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड तथा ऊंचाई 745 किलोमीटर होती है परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल तो करेंटली 7.35 किलोमीटर पर सेकंड इज द रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी एंड परफॉर्मिंग नॉमिनली स्टेट थ्रस्ट कट ऑफ the first night is the top of the stage and the next event is the NISAR separation which is perhaps very close. Yes, as expected. Yes, this has been confirmed. The NISAR has been separated. The NISAR satellite is designated injection orbit. The GSLV F-16 NISAR mission is successfully accomplished. History has been written today as NISAR has been placed in the orbit successfully. Many hearty congratulations to ISRO, NASA, and the users worldwide who will derive benefits of the Earth observation with the state-of-the-art NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar Satellite. Do stay tuned. Tune in for the address by Secretary DOS and Chairman ISRO and Mission Executives. We take leave from you. Namaskar. Yes, Prakshepan ke saath, Naisar ka promotion. With this launching, the launch mission has been successful. Shubh Kamnaay. So, congratulations to all the viewers and uh, the scientists. So, we will be taking you to the address of uh, the scientists.
Dan is het niet van. Is it on? See us announced. सेमी कंट्रैक्टर और दवाओं पर शुल्क लगाने की योजना बना रहे हैं दवाओं पर टैरिफ 200 प्रतिशत तक पहुंच सकता है हालांकि उन्होंने यह भी कहा है कि दवा निर्माताओं को अपना काम ठीक करने के लिए लगभग एक साल का समय दिया जाएगा आपको बता दें कि ब्रिक्स देशों को अमेरिका के राष्ट्रपति डोनाल्ड ट्रंप ने दस अतिरिक्त टैरिफ की धमकी दी है जब ट्रंप से पूछा गया कि धमकी भारत के लिए भी है तो उनका जवाब था हां अगर वो ब्रिक्स के साथ हैं तो ऐसे में ट्रंप का यह बयान इसलिए भी चौंकाने वाला है क्योंकि भारत 2026 में ब्रिक्स समूह की अध्यक्षता संभालने वाला है खैर अब देखना यह होगा कि आने वाले दिनों में ट्रंप ने छेड़ा यह टैरिफ और कहां जाकर शांत होता है खबर यह कि अमेरिका ने भारत पर टैरिफ का ऐलान किया है ट्रंप ने 25 फीसदी टैरिफ का ऐलान किया है अमेरिका ने